And in this the first step is screening that is the glucose challenge test or GCT and this is done at 24 to 28 weeks of gestation and in this no fasting is required. We do this test irrespective of the meal status of the female and she is given 50 gram of glucose and we check her blood glucose levels after 1 hour. And let us see how do we interpret the results. If the values are less than 140 milligram per DL, then nothing needs to be done and we only repeat fasting blood sugar levels later in pregnancy. Now if the value is between 140 to 180 milligram per DL, then we go for the next step and that is our GTT with 100 gram glucose. If the values are more than 180 milligram per DL, then we do a fasting blood sugar levels. If the fasting blood sugar level is more than 126 milligram per DL, then it confirms diabetes. But if the fasting blood sugars are less than 126 milligram per DL, then we go for GTT. Now what ACOG says that this GCT should be done in all pregnant females irrespective of their risk factors. And in low risk group, we do this GCT directly at 24 to 28 weeks of gestation. And in high risk females, they recommend that you do this GCT at the first antenatal visit. And then if the values are abnormal, you treat them accordingly. And if the values are normal in the first GCT, then you repeat the GCT at 24 to 28 weeks of gestation. Now, if the GCT values as we said are between 140 to 180 milligram per DL, then we go for the second step and that is GTT oral glucose tolerance test with 100 gram of glucose. And how do we prepare the patient for this test? For this test, we give 72 hours of normal diet to the patient and then after a overnight fasting of 8 to 10 hours, the patient is called for testing. And the first sample we take that is fasting blood sugar. After that she is given 100 gram of glucose and then 3 more samples are taken. The second sample is taken 1 hour after this 100 gram of glucose. The third sample is taken in the second hour and the fourth sample is taken in the third hour. So in this overall we take 4 samples. First is a fasting sample, then we give her 100 gram of glucose, then we take the sample after 1 hour then in the second hour and then in the third hour. 